Hey guys, how you doing? It's Voodoo here and welcome to episode 50 of my Call of Duty Black Ops Emblem Editor Series. Now I had a little bit of a different video lined up for episode 50, but it wasn't to be due to my internet service provider has uh, let me down and bits and pieces. So basically I've gone for this logo, which is one I made just before I lost my connection. And that is the Snap-on logo, Snap-on Tools. So I know that's a really big American brand. I come from a mechanical background and I've got a lot of Snap-on tools myself. So I know that the uh, what the brand is all about. Basically they make really high quality tools. They are a premium price, but they're a premium product. So guaranteed for life, um, very, very good tools, simple as that. So to recap on what's going on on my channel, Basically, at the moment, I have uh, I'm in the process of changing service provider, but I don't know what it's like in America or anything. But all the guys who are from the UK will know it's a pain in the backside to do anything like that in the UK. So, and my luck, I always have things go wrong, and it's gone wrong, and I'm now totally without connection. So I'm sort of doing this from friends' houses and stuff when I'm uploading these videos, still making them at home, but uploading from family and friends. So that's why there's a little bit of a break in service, but I'm sure you guys will understand. But what you're gonna need for this emblem is you're gonna need a square times one on page four, you're gonna need a rectangle wide times one on page 11, a nail times one on page 18, a drop times one on page one, lieutenant times one on page 24, a round square times one on page 19, curved line times two on page 16, suppressor times one on page 23, and an arrowhead times three on page three. Now what I did was, I had the rectangle wide, and I, that's what I've put on the slant, made that sort of like the, uh, the, the main body of the, the S letter. I then used a nail, and I used the outline of the nail basically to cut off the edges to give us that slanted effect. We then used the lieutenant uh, to break the bottom part of the, the rectangle to make the S. The drop goes on as the end of the spanner on the logo. The rounded square then goes into the bottom of that drop to make it look like a spanner. We use the curved line to get the uh, sort of upward swept part like what you have on the S. And the suppressor, we put that it's down there at the bottom, I'm matching the thickness of the actual uh, bit to make it look very like, even. Use the suppressor because on the end they're slightly rounded so you might, uh, yeah that's really the only thing you could use for that. I did use many things trying to get it to look good. We're now using the arrowheads to round off the edges of the S just to make it look that authentic look. Now the reason I use the suppressor is because it had the rounded end on it and that's the sort of like as good as you're going to get that top part of the S. But I was really pleased in, with the way it came out. Just round off them edges, we're going to use the curved line at the top just to you make it dip at the top just to make it look just as it should be. But I was really pleased, like I said, with the way it came out, being sort of like tool orientated. I had, um, had a couple of requests for this, funnily enough. And I thought, yeah, I'm from a tool background, so uh, I'm going to have a go, see if I can do it. But it took me three attempts, emblem's all done and dusted. I think it looks really good and it's absolutely spot on on the gun. So if you're a tool fan, then this is the one for you. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. Please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you in the next episode. See you later.